Today I'm going to be comparing filming in 24, 30, and 60 frames a second. Now I had to film this in three separate videos because you can't have multiple frame rates in the same video. So this video is in 60 frames a second and I'm going to leave the link down below to the 24 and 30 frames a second video. So like I said before, if you create a video in 60 frames a second, no matter what you shot with on the camera, no matter what frame rate you use, the video will be in 60 frames a second because the timeline is in 60 frames a second. There is no way to completely show three different frame rates in the same video. There will also be more footage at the end of the video, so be sure to stay to the end to check out that footage. Now a quick lesson on what frame rate is. Video is basically a bunch of pictures shown to you fast enough to where it looks like motion. And since this video is shot in 60 frames per second, that means there are 60 pictures being shown to you right now every second. And it looks like motion because they're being shown to you so fast that they all blur together. So why 60 frames a second? Well, if you watch my 30 frames a second video, then I go into more detail about how 60 frames a second and how 30 frames per second fits in with the way video is shot nowadays. But besides the things that I go over in that video, I would say that most of the time, if someone shoots at 60 frames per second or higher, nine out of 10 times, they're probably using it for slow motion purposes. I went over slow motion in more detail in the 24 frames a second video, but basically if you shoot at 24 frames a second, you need to shoot at a frame rate that's faster than that to be able to slow it down. Because if I take 24 frames and I slow it down 50%, I'm only showing 12 frames every second instead of 24 and I need at least 24 in that video so it's going to look choppy but if I shoot at 60 frames a second I can slow 60 frames a second down two and a half times and still have 24 frames so I won't have anything missing so you have to shoot at a faster frame rate than you intend the video to be in now since this video is in 60 frames a second technically I can shoot at 120 frames a second and I can use that footage and slow it down 50 percent so if I want to show a video that's in slow motion but the video itself is in 60 frames a second, I have to shoot at something that is higher than 60 frames a second to be able to slow it down. Now, there should be a pretty big difference between this video and the 24 and 30 frames a second video. A lot of people might not be able to see the differences between 24 and 30, but you definitely should see the difference between the 60 frames a second video versus those two. The motion is super fluid and you have very little motion blur because you have so many pictures filling in the gaps within one second. Is this a good thing? It depends. Some people probably see this video and wish all videos look like this. I think this look mainly benefits things like news broadcasts or sports or something like that where you will want that nice fluid motion. But anything that you intend to shoot with any type of cinematic value, I would say absolutely not. In my opinion, it looks horrible for those types of things. The movie Gemini Man was filmed at a whopping 120 frames per second and I think only 14 theaters were able to show it at 120 frames a second and most other theaters showed it at 60 frames a second. I'll leave a link down below to a scene of that movie that you can watch in 60 frames a second to experience what a movie would look like shot at a frame rate this high. But when things like movies are shot at super high frame rates like that it just looks very cheap to me. It takes me completely out of the movie and even things that are real start to look animated and fake to me. So. I definitely wouldn't recommend shooting anything in 60 frames a second or anything higher than that when it comes to doing anything that your intention is for it to look cinematic. There's definitely a major reason why movies are shot at 24 frames a second and not 60 frames a second even though we're capable of doing it nowadays with the technology that we have. So that's 60 frames a second. Be sure to check out the link down below to see that scene from Gemini Man in 60 frames a second. Check out my videos covering 24 and 30 frames a second. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video.